Breaking news, the government is expected to release 2,800 documents related to the John F. Kennedy assassination. President Trump blocking the release of the remaining files pending review. Joining me now, presidential historian Doug Weed. Uh, Doug, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Charles. Uh, this is a historic day. Many people have waited for this for so very long. So many unanswered questions out there. As a historian, what do you think we'll learn once the, these uh, files are released later on tonight? Well, originally I thought this was going to be like Christmas. Now I think this is kind of like a disappointing birthday party where they well, forgot you me. Well, you've, you've got 2,800 <laughs> documents coming through, right? Then you'll get the rest yeah. in 180 days, perhaps yeah. with some further redactions. But again, I mean, we're talking about, uh, I think the, the main thing is that it's all centers around Lee Harvey Oswald, right? It's, a, you know, to, to trip to Mexico City. Uh, who encouraged him? Who trained him? Was he working with someone else? Did someone else help him out logistically? Could one man have pulled all of this off? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have hoped, Charles, that eventually we're going to know the answer to that. We've solved a lot of mysteries. We thought we'd never know what happened, to how Adolf Hitler died and where his body was. And we thought uh, that the conspiracy theories of a spy in the British Secret Service was nonsense. And today we learned there were five and they dominated the British uh, higher levels of government for a whole generation. So we eventually find the answer to these mysteries, but I'm afraid this alone, this, this dump right now, is not going to do it. I expect this not to be the end, but the beginning of even more conspiracy theories. But I'm glad. I welcome okay. it. Okay. Doug, as a historian, um, earlier this year, uh, C-SPAN uh, did a survey with 100 historians and biographers, and they rated presidents on things like public persuasion, crisis leadership, economic management, moral authority international relations, and John F. Kennedy was ranked number eight uh, of 43 former presidents, uh, just ahead of Ronald Reagan. Where would you rank him? Well, uh, I rank him because uh, he represents hope for us, but in terms of what he actually did, I think those are hopeful, wishful thinking uh, historians. For example, you'll see all over the web that John F. Kennedy has an IQ of 160. It's actually 119. He was very poor at math and science, and we know his actual IQ because it was at Harvard University, and the Kennedy papers, they had to finally release them. They did. So and you're Robert saying more Dalek more myth? Uh, there's uh, some myth making in, in, in the midst there? Very much so. I think it's going to take many years to have a real evaluation of Kennedy because we love him so much. We want him to be successful and that's part of his success. But in terms of legislative achievement, he's a clean slate. You can sure, write on it. Sure. You have all kinds of revisionists now say, oh, he was really a conservative or oh, he was really but for you know, this or Doug, that. Doug, I got to tell you something. The idea of a universally loved president uh, is something I would like to see. Uh, and no, <laughs> the bipartisan right. bickering and, 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 and obstructionism, uh, I think right. is hurting this nation. And so maybe it's a bygone era that we all kind of long for. Doug, we thank you very much. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Charles. All right. We'll be right back.